Jesse Jackson is the figure who probably most represents the transition from civil rights politics to electoral politics for African Americans. Jesse Jackson was born in Greenville, South Carolina on October 8, 1941. Riding the back of a bus, having black and white uh, water fountains, not being able to eat in a restaurant with white people. He saw those injustices, and I think it uh, is a lesson that he never forgot his entire life. In high school, he was class president and a football star. He went on to the Agricultural and Technical College of North Carolina. Jackson met his wife, Lavinia Brown, while he was in college. The couple married in 1962. Jackson and his wife had five children together. Jackson earned a sociology degree in 1964. And he excelled, but there were demonstrations, there were marches, there were protests. He was caught up in that movement. After college, Jackson went to work with Dr. Martin Luther King's Southern Christian Leadership Conference. He joined him in Selma, Alabama on that horrific march and clash with the police. He was with King when King was assassinated in Memphis, Tennessee at the Lorraine Motel. After King's assassination in April 1968, Jackson split from the SCLC leadership. He moved to Chicago and in 1971 formed Operation Push. To make sure that white store owners in the black community did their part of hiring black clerks. You're gonna either hire some African Americans in your store or we're gonna have a boycott. And he did that and it was quite effective. Jackson's efforts generated national and international headlines, and in 1979, he traveled to South Africa to speak out against apartheid. And Jesse Jackson came to Israel to support the Palestinian cause. He starts using the same phrases he used in the United States. I am somebody. Say it with me. I am somebody. And they're repeating this in Arabic. In 1984, he formed the Rainbow Coalition to fight for equal rights for everyone. That group later merged with Operation Push. That same year, Jackson ran for president. He came in third in the Democratic primaries. Then in 1988, he ran and lost again. He told me, he says, I know I'll never get elected president. I know it's not possible for a black man to get elected president. And of course, that wasn't true. When the returns came in in 2008 and Obama was on the stage, there were shots of Jackson with tears in his eyes. Jackson is a Baptist minister and civil rights leader who continues to fight for equality. His oldest son, Jesse Jackson Jr., served in the U.S. House of Representatives. The friend of the downtrodden, friend of African Americans, and that's the role he's played. He is always there. When there's trouble, Jesse's gonna come. <laughs>